Hi, this is Sean Polston, owner of TucsonShortSellNegotiator.com, and I'm, I'm here to talk to you today about a scenario I run into frequently. I'll run into either somebody who's owned an investment property that they've been renting out, and they're concerned about the value of their the home versus the balance on the mortgage, or I'm sitting down talking with some homeowners who are trying to decide what they want to do, and this, the subject of renting the property out comes up. And what I normally do, we sit down and we go over how that works out. And I've prepared a scenario for you today that's a hypothetical scenario, but it's not entirely uncommon. I, I run into numbers very similar to this on a routine basis. In this scenario, let's say that this homeowner had a $200,000 loan they took out in 2007. The balance on that loan is around 189,000 today. They've made all their payments. The value of the property today is about 130,000. Their principal interest taxes and insurance payment is about 1500. And the rental income they can expect from this property, which in the greater Tucson area, three bedroom, two bath house, generally rents plus or minus a little bit of $1,000. But let's, let's use $1,000 a month for this example. In this scenario, their monthly loss, cash out of pocket that they're sending their mortgage company to keep owning the home is $500 a month. Yearly, this equates to $6,000. Let's take it to the next page. So we have the current value of the home at $130,000, current balance $189,000. And there's two ways to get these numbers to a place where you, you can sell the house and break even or, or get out of it. And you know you could bring cash to closing, but let's look at in this example, we, let's factor in the real estate market stops going down today and starts going up tomorrow at an average annual appreciation of 3% a year, which is pretty historical for real estate. 3% a year over nine years, and these numbers, when I was making these calculations, I rounded them off to make, it, to make it easier numbers to work with, but nine years, we'd have a value on this property from the 130 of 164, 682. And all those payments being made would buy down, assuming we have a 6% loan over a 30 year amortization, that loan balance would get bought down to 152, 688 thereabouts on both of these figures. Their equity position in that home would then be $11,994. Factoring an estimate for cost to sell, real estate commissions, title fees, the, using an estimate 12,351, could be a little bit more, could be less. This seller would need to bring cash to closing, write a check at closing when they sign the documents to sell the house for $357. Now, if we look at what they've paid to continue owning that house, the net rental cash out of pocket loss, money out of your pocket, is $54,000 at the end of this. And there are some problems with this scenario also that I want to bring to your attention. I mean, here they are. Most of the experts are predicting the market is going to continue to fall in 2011. Some of them are predicting far beyond that. This scenario does not factor in paying a property manager, any maintenance or repairs or vacancy, tenant problems. We're also using approximate figures. The scenario also does not factor in positive and negative tax consequences. I believe this scenario to be incredibly optimistic, though. In a situation, there's another big caveat um, for that owner occupant that is looking at changing or converting, as the technical term, that primary residence into a rental property has to do with if, if they were to end up doing a short sale later. Say five years down the road, they've rented the property out. Now they need to do a short sale. It can have huge negative consequences when it comes to the debt forgiveness and how the 1099 that the lender will issue for the debt gets treated. 
the thing to do before you convert this property into a rental is to sit down and talk to a tax professional about how it's going to affect you or, and, and ask them about the possibility of if you were to do a short sale and how that 1099 would be treated years in the future. Okay. Thank you for your time and if there are any questions I can answer for you about a short sale, please fill out my short sale request form and I look forward to speaking with you.